Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can hear, my voice is gone. Basically I've got a cold, obviously it's winter. And do you know what the most annoying thing is? Is You know when you like, when you have a cold, you're like, oh I never appreciated breathing normally. Well I did, like that day, I literally was like, oh I can actually breathe normally right now. So I'm going like, to appreciate and I'm going to be grateful that I can breathe normally right now. And then no joke, that night, I had a blocked up nose and I couldn't sleep because I couldn't breathe out my nose. So I don't, I don't know like how being grateful like jinxed me. Um, so yeah, I would have thought that would like save me from a cold but it didn't. So here I am. Yeah, so today I'm going to be, I've never filmed a video uh, like this before. So I'm going to be eating like Kendall Jenner for the day. I tried to film this before when I was on a photo shoot because it kind of just went with the like vibe of the video uh, of she models but um i had to make lunch for her for the video and obviously i can't make food at the photo shoot because we're at the warehouse so i'm gonna film it today and um, i'm going driving later because i've got my driving test in two days no if you include today it's three days but yeah um exciting stuff I'm just excited to be able to drive because it gives me so much freedom and also it helped me with my video so much more because I like, say for example for today's video I had to go order food and um, like order food from Sainsbury's but if I could drive I could just go drive to the to the shop get all the food and I could film that as part of the video and also I can do drive with me I can do like drive through videos um I can do I don't know I've got a video planned and it includes these McDonald's wins. You probably know what it is, anyways. And if I fail, I would genuinely be so upset. I'll be in mourning. I'll literally, I won't come out of my room at all. I will literally be sobbing my eyes out. So let's just hope I pass. I think I am pretty confident, and I fingers crossed think I'm gonna pass. But by the time this video goes out, I would have already known. So it's kind of scary. But just so many videos planned and. So many things I can just do once I can drive. So, oh god, let's manifest it. Come down to make myself some breakfast, and me and Grace are the only ones in the house. So, I love it. It's a free house, and I get to cook myself. Even better, it's like living alone. Okay, so for breakfast, um, Kendall has avocado, egg, and then she has either oatmeal or toast. Um, I'm not one to have oatmeal, so I'm going to have it on toast. It's actually one of my favourite breakfasts, not even going to lie. Also, with the other avocado, I'm going to make later the hair mask that Courtney Kardashian uses, because apparently it's really good for your hair, but I'm going to use it tonight, because I'm trying to not dye my hair at the moment, because it's so damaged. So, if anyone has tips for hair growth and hair strengthening and just healthy hair, then please comment down below, because I've that would be really helpful. But yeah, eggs. Which I'm so annoyed because I bought these because I didn't think there was any eggs. And then when I was putting the eggs away, I saw that there was eggs at the back of the fridge. I paid for that. And then, toast. This is actually, yeah, uh, there's a cafe in my school. And they do the best breakfasts. And they do like um, scrambled egg, avocado like slices, um, bacon. And then I get hash browns instead of... Halloumi, that's the one, and it's banging. Okay, so I've got the egg cooking. I slice up the avocado. I normally smash it with, um, I, I normally smash it and put uh, chili flakes in it if I'm having scrambled egg on toast. But it did say she had poached egg, but I actually don't know how to make poached egg, so I'm gonna have to make scrambled egg. And then I've got the toast in the toaster. So yeah, it's nearly done anyways. But I'm actually really excited. I'm going to put chili flakes on it because I just think it adds a little bit more seasoning and it makes it nicer. Look how small the toast is. It's like these little ones, the little toasty ones. But I think they're actually quite, well, they're not good for like a sandwich, but they are good for like just a little breakfast or maybe like a little snack. Oh, this is not going to be aesthetic at all. Wait, let me try and make this look all aesthetic. And then I'll come back because I can't really do it with a camera in my hand. Okay, so I've got 
Right, I did try my best. I can't lie, I'm just gonna blame it on the lighting because I think it looks better in real life. Um, also, can anyone ever actually taste pepper when they put it on? Because I actually can't, I just think it looks aesthetic. And I put some cheese flakes on it, and then did the avocado. But, I can't lie, it doesn't look that nice, but I know it will be, which is absolutely fine. So, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Okay, that actually is quite nice, and I'm not complaining that she has it, because when I first said I was going to do this video, I was really scared it would be like, she'd have like really weird, organic, healthy foods. But I would actually have this, it has protein in it, has the health. I'm actually alright with this. Okay, so Kendall Jenner also says she drinks loads and loads of water every day, and um, I don't really drink that much water, I mean, every day, I kind of... I used to drink so much water when I used to go to school. I still go to school now. But as in, since it being summer and stuff, I don't drink as much water. So, to help me drink a lot of water today, I'm going to be using Air Up. And I mean, everyone on my channel, if you watched my previous videos, you've heard, seen Air Up and how much I love it. Air Up creates water bottles that change the taste of water just by suing air. So this is their new still water bottles, which are so nice. So if you're not a fan of just plain water, then I really recommend Air Up because it helps change the flavour of the water. Literally just using air, which is mad. So they create the flavour without you having to absorb any unnatural chemicals, sweeteners or additives, because obviously it's literally all just through your nose and air. If you have your bottle, and then you get a lid and then this is the straw and the mouthpiece and then you just use fill it with water still or sparkling i'm going to use still because i hate sparkling water so much and then put the mouthpiece on with the straw and then i have so many air up points in here um i'm gonna go with mango passion fruit my favourite favourite is apple, but we've run out of that one. This is what, these are the pods, and they look like this. And then you literally just push mm. it onto the mouthpiece on top of it. And then to activate it, you just have to pull it up a little bit. Like that. There'll be like a little line. And then you put it up to there. And then you literally just drink and breathe in the smell. You can also swap and change the colour of the water bottles by changing the colour of the lid, mouthpiece, or the little handle. So guys, go check them out. There's a link in the description below. Right, I literally, I actually have to sort my whole room and everything out today. It is Sunday and it's bank holiday Monday tomorrow. Um, because it was the Queen's funeral and everything. Um, so it's bank holiday Monday tomorrow. But I'm literally going out driving all day. So I don't have time to sort everything out but from where it's been the weekend and i've been out quite a lot i've let my room go like this it is literally a complete mess yeah yesterday my room was absolutely spotless and then it came to me choosing an outfit and then this one is like because i tried on every single thing on my wardrobe and nothing was working and everything and it literally took me 40 minutes to find an outfit and then yeah and then in the end i literally went with the most basic outfit which was like my 874 Dickie trousers and literally erased the top. But I had to go through every single thing in my wardrobe before I found that. So, yeah. But I really need to sort this out. And while I'm going to sort it out, I'm going to listen to. I've been, well, I've been reading and listening to Janet. Janet? Janet McCurdy's new book. I think that's how you say her name. Um, it's called I'm Glad My Mum Died. It's actually a really good book. Um, and she's the one that was on iCarly, like, iCarly and Summer Cat on Nickelodeon. And it literally talks about, like, I don't want to explore too much, but just basically, it's actually, it's just kind of mad what she went through and everything. And it's just so weird, like, how you never would have, like, kind of expected it sort of thing. But I also listened to it on Audible, um, because I think I find it better listening and reading along. Because if I just read along... My mind thinks about loads of things, but if I have my headphones on, then I don't know, I can't really think about anything else. But I also like listening to Audible because I can do other things while I'm just listening to it. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't even normally read. I literally don't even know what's come over me. 
I just started reading this book that I need to do for my English coursework. Um, and it's called The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And like, it's not my kind of cup of tea of a book. Like, God, why do I sound so like, mature? Um, no, it's just because I think I prefer like, more real kind of books like this one because it's about like the exploitation she went through and everything but i think i'd also like you know kind of like feminist books because you know me um i also think i like you know feminist book like uh women don't owe you pretty and them kind of ones i think they're my kind of books with that one because it's like non-fiction uh i don't really is it non-fiction is that what it's called yeah uh I just don't really enjoy it as much because it just feels a bit pointless. But yeah, this one, really, really good. Right it. Oh my god, and wait, where are my headphones? Oh, you're joking, did I leave them in the car? I just realised I leave them in the car. I actually left them in the car. Did I? Oh, I did. Oh, I left my headphones in the car. I got the new Apple AirPod Max. Um, I went to a Motel Rocks event and they literally gave me at the end free AirPod Max headphones as like a gift. Never been so short in my life. But I literally, because I take them everywhere with me now, I literally left them in my mum and dad's car and obviously they've taken the car. So I'm going to have to use, I do actually have these headphones. I'm going to use my headphones and I'm going to put the Audible one uh, while I tidy this absolute mess. Okay, my room is all tidy now. The, this is just a pile of clothes that don't fit um, in my drawers until I sort my wardrobe out. It's never like completely tidy to how I like it. Because like, see I have a pile of stuff there that I don't have a place to put it. So I basically just have to wait for my room to be done until everything has an exact place for it to go in. So that's why it's like tidy, but like not tidy tidy if you know what I mean. So I'm going on my driving lesson my granddad aka my driving instructor and um we're just going round where i'm doing my test to practice because it's not long now but first we're gonna go pick up buddy because um my nan and granddad went away to ireland and buddy stayed with ava's grandma so we're gonna go pick him up missing <laughs> him already buddy's joining us in the car he's going in the back though they both have such big attachment issues, I actually can't believe it. I don't know who was more excited <laughs> to see the other person. And do you know he actually sits in like people's arms like a baby and will put his arms out to like you, to go to you. He's actually like a little human. <laughs> right, I've just came back from my driving te uh, test lesson. Um, and I just put a hair mask and hair care stuff in my hair to so when I go cook my lunch and everything I'm just gonna leave it in until I have a shower but I actually forgot to film so I thought I'd just show you what kind of things I use first of all this is for my eczema because I do get like eczema patches on my scalp so I actually put that on and then I use Olaplex which is just like hair root bonding stuff and then I used two different beauty works masks and then I just used put it all through my hair and then used like a comb to comb it through and then I've just put it in a bun so it looks all right at the moment but i'm actually starving i only was on my driving lesson for like an hour so it's a little bit past the time i'd normally have lunch but not that much so i'm gonna go make it now now that it's getting closer to my driving test i'm so scared and i also just cleaned my car so i'll show you that. um apparently i don't know how to vlog anymore <laughs> But, look how clean it looks. Uh, it looks very nice and clean. Because first impressions, my driving test is key. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyways, for dinner, she said, she, in because I found it on a website that she did an interview for and she said everything she has. And she has brown rice, which I have here. I got the microwave one because what's the point of actually cooking it? And then she has chicken as well so i got here diced breast chicken um and i think i'm gonna she didn't say if she has any like sauces or anything but i think i'm gonna do like sesame uh, sesame 
soy sauce. Okay, now I'm gonna do something which my mum never does, which is put seasoning on my chicken. Genuinely never does it. So I don't really know what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna chuck a bunch of stuff on it. It's like pepper, obviously a bit of salt. And then I'm gonna see if we have, yes, peri salt. I literally put that on everything. Best thing ever. Um, and then once it's starting to cook, I'm gonna put soy sauce on it. Anything else that looks good? I wish I had like sesame seeds. That would make it a bare like aesthetic. I don't even know. Right, let's just go in with it. Okay, the chicken's done, I hope. I hope I ain't gonna give myself food poisoning. And I put some soy sauce on it. And then I put the rice in the microwave. Oh, literally nearly done. So now I just need to uh, serve it. These are honestly my favourite bowls ever. I don't even know why. I actually use them for everything though. And then here is my lunch. Not a typical thing I'd go for. I normally don't put this much effort into lunch. But I'm going to add more soy sauce if I need it. But hopefully it's nice because this is... When I move out and I'm living by myself, this is actually quite an easy and good meal to eat. Yeah, wait, I'm actually going to try it. Actually, it's going to be better. Wait, let me try it. Oh, it's really hot. But, it's actually really nice and I can still taste the peri salt as well, which is quite nice. Uh, I've just decided that, although I've only had lunch, I normally have a bath in the evening. But I've decided I'm going to have a bath because I just feel, look, where I feel a bit ill from my cold and stuff. You know when you just feel really achy and stuff and like, you just feel a bit under the weather. Oh, that's kind of how I describe it. Not even achy, it's just, I think I'm tired as well because... I don't really, like, get that good of a sleep. I went to bed quite late. And I woke up, like, basically I just didn't get enough sleep. So I'm going to put a candle on, uh, wash my hair mask out, do my whole hair care routine, everything, because I just can't be bothered to have a shower. And I've, I've literally, the last time I had a bath in this house, I probably had one bath in this house since we've lived there. And that was literally when we first moved in. So I literally don't have baths, because I normally don't like them. Put a Kylie skin mask on which is like really thin, it's just more hydrating. And then this candle, Holly got me in the, um, when we did the Christmas bag, stocking spot, whatever it's called. So I'm gonna light this and it all lights up. Ta-da! I actually swear period cramps will be the absolute death of me. Honestly, I'm going through the war today. Period cramps, cold. And also my wisdom tooth is hurting. So, honestly. But anyways, I've literally been reading my English book for quite a bit. Because I haven't really done it the past few days. And we have like a deadline that we have to have like 100 pages left. Which means I need to read like 150 pages in the next two days to meet the deadline. I'm a bit hungry now. And I think I'm going to order some food. I also finished the um, old, the book, I'm glad my mum died, I finished the last bit today, I was just listening it on, I don't know why I bought the book, I actually shouldn't have because I was just been listening to it on Audible, um, pretty much the whole time, and I didn't really read much of the book, I just listened to it because it just was easier that, like, while I was cleaning my car I just listened to it, and like when I get ready and stuff I listen to it, so... It's just easier. There's for dinner that she gets, um, I know obviously she doesn't get a takeaway every day, but this is what she said in the interview. Also, all my lashes have literally come off. So, he's getting taken off or redone. Anyways, sidetracking. She says she either gets sushi or a burger and chips. So, I'm just having a look on Deliveroo because I know that we have five guys sometimes, but I don't know if it'll be open. Um, and I don't know if we actually have any sushi places. Let's have a look. Oh, Five Guys is open. Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna order a Five Guys. I'm gonna get a hamburger with some bacon in it. Obviously no cheese. And then their chips, their Cajun ones are banging. And then I'm gonna get, um, she didn't say what drink she gets, but I'm gonna get the banana milkshake from here because it's so nice and it actually tastes really fresh. Like it tastes more like a smoothie than a milkshake. But I know that like banana is such like a 
controversial, whatever the word is, thing. Like, so many people hate it and some people love it. I don't really, I like banana flavoured things, but I don't like actual banana, I don't think. My food has arrived and I'm eating in my room because it's too cold downstairs. Like, it's actually freezing downstairs. I don't think my mum and dad put any heating on because it's actually freezing. It's only warm in my room. But I basically, I got a burger and then I got a hot sauce and jalapenos, which she didn't specifically say she gets. She just said she got burger and chips, okay? So I just followed that it said burger and chips. Um, I also made hot water and lemon to try and make myself feel better and get rid of this cold. But I need to let it cool down, so I'm going to eat my food. And then while I'm eating, I can't decide if I'm going to watch Netflix or watch a YouTube video on test routes around where I'm taking my test. So, because I have watched them about like four times, so I probably don't need to watch them anymore. But yeah, I think I'm gonna watch Netflix <laughs> just because I just, I've just taken this evening to relax so that I can re energize and restore. If Netflix wants to load. I don't really have anything to watch at the moment, so I might put a film on because there's no series that I know to watch and I finished them all. So yeah. I actually love Five Guys so much. It's actually, I haven't had it in ages. Right, let me find a film that I'm going to watch. 